What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog on the channel and today we're going to be going to the mall to pick up the brand new Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue. Now it's honestly been quite some time since I've won a raffle of some sort for a pair of sneakers so this is very refreshing. We ended up getting a uh, a nice juicy w on the Foot Locker app in canada i took an l on the uh the lebrons that came out as well but uh we got the we got the threes now i'm not particularly really excited for this pair this isn't a pair i was gonna wear for personal so i'm literally just buying these sneakers to review them give you guys a close-up look at these and then i'm gonna be on to the next release so once i'm done with this pair i'll be selling them off for retail so if you want to buy this pair from me personally then hit me up in the instagram dms it's at sneaker talks yay with that said, we were just at this mall the other day and they vlogged pretty much all the best sneakers at the mall. So if you guys want to check out that vlog, I'll leave a link down below. However, I still want to have some content for you guys outside of just picking up the sneakers at the Foot Locker that we won the raffle at. So we're going to show you guys the best new sneakers at the Foot Locker if they have any other new shoes that have just arrived over the last couple of days. And I actually just came back from Vaughn Mills, a outlet mall outside of Toronto that has a bunch of sneaker stores and that also includes their Foot Locker. So before we get going to Scarborough Town Center, the mall where I won the Air Jordan 3s at, we're going to go to Vaughn Mills first and flash back to earlier this morning and show you guys the best sneakers they had at that Foot Locker because I haven't been there in like three months. So let's flash back to that. <laughs> Firing shots, high caliber round. If you know what's best, then you better get down. So those were the pairs at Vaughn Mills. Now we're also going to be uploading a Nike outlet video on the channel next. That's gonna be the next video, I believe. And we waited two hours, basically. Bruh. Two hours to shop at that Nike outlet. So if you guys wanna see what the Nike outlet had, was it worth the wait? Then subscribe, hit that red button down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Now it's time to head over to Scarborough Town Center and pick up the brand new Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue. What to wear, what to wear, what to wear. You know what, since it is an Air Jordan 3 release, I think it's only uh, nice if we were to bust out these right here, the Air Jordan 3 free throws, which I bought in uh, California for the All-Star Weekend. <laughs> I just realized that these Jordan 3s actually ruined my pants. The last time I wore them, the red uh, dye on the tongue right here rubbed off onto this like raw material for the pants. So it sort of dyed it red. So we're gonna have to switch off the threes. Ah, the Air Jordan 4 cool grays. These sneakers actually sat at the mall we're going to for a few weeks a couple years ago. So how fitting, we're gonna rock these today. Oh my gosh, my sister is growing a family over here. She literally has three of these Squishmallow things. These are like hypeys pillows. What's gotten into you? Why do you have three of these? So I have three because I'm starting a Squishmallow hunting segment on my vlog channel. <laughs> what? Also, I have a chipmunk one because I just got my wisdom teeth out yesterday. Ah, so, that's why you look like a chipmunk. Yeah, they go hand in hand. So this is Nikki Jr., this is Baby Rick, and this is Chippy Woo. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I also met up with a subscriber the other day and he hooked it up for retail on two of these Costco Pokemon five pack tins. And uh, if you guys want to see what's in these, all the hype behind them, uh, check out my Pokemon channel, Sneaker Talk TCG. We uh, got some really bad cards to be honest with you, but hey, it's, it's still pretty cool. So we made it to Scarborough Town Center now. I had to take an Uber, unfortunately, because the bus wouldn't get me here on time. So 
That's a $18 L, but hey, at least we're here on time and we can pick up the shoes. I just found out too that they have this like outdoor seating area patio behind me or in front of me where you can eat because you can't actually eat in the food court. So uh, yeah, the more you know. The announcement just came out the other day that movie theaters can be opened again uh, starting on Friday. Movie theaters have been closed down for like nine months in Toronto, so I'm really, really excited for this. This is also amazing news. I'm just learning today that there's a Chick-fil-A that's gonna be coming soon here, and then there's also a Jollibee that's gonna be coming here. Oh my gosh. I love both Chick-fil-A and Jollibee, but can you guys guess which one I like more? On the count of three, two, one, Jollibee. So it's 6.44 p.m. We technically have time to stop by a couple sneaker stores, but as you guys can see, there's lineups everywhere. So to play it safe, we're gonna go straight to the Foot Locker because that's why we're here to pick up the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blues. So they technically close in 14 minutes and it looks like there's a pretty small lineup of like 20 people. So hopefully we can still buy the shoes even if the store closes. Just stepped outside of the Foot Locker and I want to give you guys a quick little look while we're here at the mall. This probably looks really weird because I'm just squatting down in front of the store. Here we have it. Check these out. The Air Jordan 3 Racer Blues. These are a bit better in person, but we'll take a closer look at these back at my house. Back at the desk with the brand new pair of Air Jordan 3 Racer Blues. And I gotta say, this is just gonna be a first impression portion of the vlog. So if you want a full in-depth review, it'll be on the channel very, very soon. But yeah, this is the very first time I'm actually gonna look at these, inspect these in person. So we have a retail price of 245 Canadian. I think that's 190 US dollars. This box was not what I was expecting. It kind of reminds me of last year's fire red denim 3 box which uh which is in my garage so i can't i can't show it to you guys right now but it's this all black box and then you have the hits of blue on the jump man so let's just open this box up show you guys what we have we got the receipt right here the retail price after tax in canada came to 276 dollars and 85 cents Ooh, and i gotta say these have a really nice smell to them Oh, not as nice as Jordan 1's, but these smell really, really good. Take the other one out of the box. I gotta give you guys like my initial thoughts on this shoe before buying it. I saw images online and from the looks of it, like the elephant print, I wasn't, I wasn't really vibing with this elephant print at all. It's not what we're really used to seeing out of an Air Jordan 3. The reason that the elephant print is like this is because it actually has a 3M or just a reflective accent on it. So I'll have a photo on screen of what it looks like or a video on screen of what it looks like right now with a flash video recording. I'm actually not as disappointed in this shoe as I thought I would be. I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. I have to say the reflective accent is, is nice in person. I do see it a little bit here and i gotta say it's been a while since we've seen a jordan 3 release so it's nice to have a new pair of jordan 3s in terms of the quality leather quality is eh, it's average it's pretty decent and then it has a really faint tumbled texture to it as well for the majority of the upper and then you have a smooth leather mud, mud guard on the front area right there so this is really clean i gotta say this is probably gonna be a go-to sneaker for a lot of you guys this summer if you missed out on the white oreo air jordan 4 i feel like this is definitely a sneaker you probably had already Already lined up in your sights to cop. If you really like blue, you're probably going to really like this sneaker. If you're not a fan of it, you obviously had so many other options of Jordan 3s that have released over the years. But uh, yeah, I am pleasantly satisfied. I do like the fact that they went for a gray sock liner on this because for shoes like the uh, Air Jordan 3 white cement or in this case free throw line, this has like a white collar and it definitely turns gray and dark and dirty over time. You guys can see that, right? But with the fact that these are already like gray when you buy them, definitely is going to hide a lot of the wear and tear which is nice to have because this is probably a jordan you're gonna get a lot of wear out of um this isn't a sneaker that is an og colorway of course you guys probably know that by now this isn't going to be a shoe that necessarily a lot of people are going out of the way to to keep and keep it dead stock and just collect this is a shoe a lot of people are i'm expecting at least to wear my resale predictions on this shoe right now the last time i checked the resale is still below retail, at least on places like StockX. So if you're selling on StockX, you're selling at a loss and you, unless you cop them for below retail. But yeah, I think these definitely have a lot of potential 
to rise over the next couple of years. I feel like these will probably be one of those shoes that you can easily flip for $50 to $60 profit in a year from now. So if you're comfortable with sitting on them and you're not so much worried about restocks of this shoe, then you can definitely make some money and uh, flip these in a year from now. Maybe if you are selling them locally, you'll be able to flip them at a profit. I was really tempted to not buy these. I was tempted to just, I had the W confirmed and I was gonna leave it, but I was like, hey, it's been a while since I've actually taken a W on a release. So let me enjoy this moment. Let me know what you guys think about the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue in the comment section down below. Was this a cop? Was it a drop? Did you take a W? Did you take a L? I'll have the review on the channel very soon, along with some Nike LL vlogs and a lot more content on the way. My birthday's also coming up, so I'm gonna have a little staycation with my girlfriend. So you guys will have a vlog with my girlfriend in it very soon. I know some of you guys have been asking. Binge watch my Japan vlogs if you haven't yet already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.